I will now take a look at the S50's lunar mode, which I was not able to cover in my full review of the S50 because the moon was not visible when I was recording that video. Go into the lunar mode and very similar to the solar mode, it will automatically locate the moon for you. You can see in this uh, case, the initial view of the moon is overexposed. So I am reducing the brightness to improve the quality of the image. So we can see more surface detail. Now see that we have a very nice crescent moon with a lot of surface detail on the moon showing many of the surface features on the moon, including the Sea of Tranquility and the Langrenus Crater. I will now take another look at the S50's planetary mode, this time taking a look at Saturn. I've pulled up Saturn in the What's Best Tonight, and I've tapped the Go To function to start loading it up. It has found Saturn. As you can see, Saturn is initially very small in the S50, looking very much like a bright star. However, if you zoom in, you can see Saturn's rings pretty clearly. I'm adjusting the brightness to get a better view. I will say I actually recorded this video prior to the most recent update 1.13, which added the built-in zoom uh, features for planetary mode. However, what you would get in a 4x zoom on Saturn should look pretty similar to this. Thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.